Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on chumbacasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at chumbacasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's chumbacasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. With the Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Now for our story. Hello. Hello. Yes, this is Ben Calvert's residence. He isn't here. I, I, I said Mr. Calvert's not here. He's just left for out of town. I don't know exactly. Maybe day after tomorrow. No, he didn't say where he'd be stopping. I don't even know where he went. This is the housekeeper. No, I'm here alone. Nobody else is home. Where did you say? Oh, what's that? I can't hear. Well, anyway, you'd better call back later in the week. Goodbye. <laughs> Fine time to be getting a body out of bed. One of these business deals, probably. Calling up at 11 o'clock. Then you can't hear what they say with their mumbling and muttering. Mm-hmm. I suppose I should tell Mr. Steen in the morning. Now, where did that operator say? This is long distance, he said, but... Did it start with an M or T? Oh, Mrs. Travel be mad as a hornet if I don't know. Maybe I just say nothing. That's it. I'll keep quiet. What they don't know, don't hurt them. A call from Paul Cromwell in Miami Beach, where Kidda suffered a grave mental breakdown. A phone call to her father in Wakefield. But as Ben's elderly housekeeper goes sleepily back to bed, Ben Calvert himself speeds along the road out of town, unaware of the crisis in his daughter's life. If Ben knew, perhaps he might turn back in spite of his threat never to acknowledge Kit as his daughter again. But he doesn't know, and at this moment his thoughts are not concerned with her at all. As the headlights of the big car cut sharply through the blackness, Ben is thinking of Kit's former husband, Bill Mead. Bill, whom Ben hates, having convinced himself that the young man is responsible for all of his recent troubles. Now, Ben is thinking of a plan of revenge he has already begun. Well, it was like a charm so far. Luckiest thing ever happened, my running into Mario Descari the other day. When I saw the look in his face after kidding him about his wife walking down the street with Bill Mead, it sure gave me a good idea. It's been so easy. The hint dropped here and there. Now the rumor's all over town. <laughs> you can do anything with people if you know how to handle them. But Mario doesn't kid either. If he's mad, he wouldn't stop at anything. Yeah. It's like a man with a flashlight. I wonder who. Hello there. Need any help? No, thanks. Sounds like. Is that my new discovery? Yeah. Oh, with the cowboy. I didn't recognize you. I didn't expect to find you out at this time of night, Mario. You'd think you'd be safe at home with your wife. What's up? Oh, it's that calf. Calf? <laughs> yeah, darn it. She got loose again. <laughs> the calf, eh? It's <laughs> tough, Mario. Oh, it sure makes me sore. Charlie gets all excited. The calf gets into her garden, that blanket. How'd she get out? I don't know. This happens every once in a while. <laughs> I guess she likes to change. <laughs> the calf with a sense of adventure, eh? Yeah, I guess that's it. Maybe we ought to put a ball and chain on it. <laughs> it's darned irritating, Mario, but oh, I... Oh, that's all right. 
I think it was funny, too. Only I... It's so sleepy. <laughs> we had a party last night, and I'm deep. A oh, party? Oh, you don't see. That sounds interesting. Anniversary or something? Well, not exactly. Uh, you might call it a kind of celebration, though. We had Mr... Well, I mean, Bill Me came over for dinner with his girl. Bill Mead, eh? <clears throat> Look, Mario, uh, why don't you get in for a minute? I've got plenty of time, and I'd like to hear about the dinner party. I don't get around much, you know. like to hear what the young folks are up to. Well, I, I really ought to be going along, Mr. Calvert. You've got to find that cat. Oh, oh, 15 minutes one way or the other won't matter, Mario. I uh, believe I have some uh, good cigars here in the glove compartment. And uh, something for snake bites, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, just a minute. Oh, say, this is sure a swell car, Mr. Calvert. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you better look out. If you're comfortable, I might go sleep on you. Well, go right ahead. <laughs> I'll take you to Marshall with me. Lots of uh, pretty girls there, Mario. <laughs> oh, no, thanks. Let's see here. Yes, here they are. Yeah, have one of these. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Calvert. Say, Corona, huh? <laughs> Let's. Yeah, thanks. Uh, like a little shot or something go on yet? Oh, no. No, thank you, Mr. Cowley. I don't go for that strong stuff. A little wine with dinner, maybe, but that's all. Well, I guess you had plenty of vino last night, eh, Mario? Mm, well, we drank a couple of toes. Sounds as if you had quite a good time. Oh, we did. That little me is a swell fella. I uh, know you mentioned you were good friends. You remember that day I ran into you in front of my office? You were looking for Carla? She'd just gone across the square with Bill? <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. Hey, it's a funny thing, Mr. Calvert. I almost got into hot water on account of that. Hot water? I don't understand. Certainly nothing I said. Oh, no, no. It wasn't anything you said. But I'm, I'm a funny guy, Mr. Calvert. I got an idea in my head, thinking of Carla with some other guys. Even though it was a joke, I got awful sore. And then I heard something of Smitty, too. Smitty? The pool hall? Yeah, I went in there for a beer. These fellas were talking. Didn't mean nothing. Carl made you see that. For a while, I was so as a bull. No, oh, that's too bad, Mario. It's a mistake to listen to gossip. You know? Oh, sure. That's what Carl says. Of course, sometimes there's truth in it. I don't know, Mr. Calvert. Carl thinks people make things up sometimes. Just to cause trouble. No, oh, I suppose they do sometimes. But why would anyone make up a story about, well, about anything that didn't have some basis in it? Yeah. Why would they? Well, but you haven't told me about the party last night. Oh, yeah. Well, it was her idea, Carla. She said if Peggy Douglas and Bill came over, it would make up for the way I acted. What do you mean? You didn't have a row with Bill Mead, did you? Oh, not a row, exactly, but... I ran into them one day on my way back to town. It was the day I'd been to Smitty. Still had that talk I heard on my mind. I guess I was kind of nasty. Well, that's too bad, Mario. Especially if you and Bill are such good friends. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Tom. <laughs> but you know women. Yes, they're inclined to be sentimental. And they don't like any unpleasantness. I know Mario with my wife. I do believe she'd rather tell me a lie than the truth sometimes. Just to keep peace in the family. <laughs> but we can't blame them for that, can we? I'm not so sure about that. If Carla ever lied to me, I'd... I don't know what I'd do. Oh, I'm not saying she'd mean anything by it. It's just the way women are. You know, anything to avoid trouble. Yes, the girls are pretty clever when they come right down to it. They can pull the wool over our eyes and make us like it. And once they've got us to feeling guilty, Mario, we'll it. And they've got it eating right out of their hands. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I gotta go looking for that cat. And I hope you find her, Mario. It's a shame to leave your wife there in the farmhouse all alone. And, uh, I've enjoyed hearing about that nice party you had. Yeah. Some party, Mr. Calvert. Well... Good night. Good night, son. <laughs> 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 
you can do anything with people, Ben had said, if you know how to handle them. But after this evening, hearing of the renewed friendship between Mario and Bill, Ben Calvert realized that success wasn't as imminent as failure. But Ben was adamant. His plan had become an obsession. He'd still find a way. Hello, Saver. Whether you're saving for that trip to the tropics or saving for an emergency, now is the time to take advantage of Wells Fargo's savings options. Wells Fargo offers savings accounts that can help you save towards your goals. So, what are you saving for? Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com slash save to open a savings account today. Wells Fargo Bank N.A. Member FDIC. Fargo, the new virtual assistant from Wells Fargo, makes banking faster and easier. Like this. Fargo, what's my checking account routing number? And this. Fargo, uh, turn off my debit card. And this. Fargo, what did I spend on groceries last month? And that's just the beginning. Do you, Fargo? You can in the Wells Fargo mobile app. Learn more at wellsfargo.com slash getfargo. Terms and conditions apply. Your mobile carrier's availability and message and data rates may apply. Wells Fargo Bank and a member FDIC.